My hair is a mess. I haven't shaved my face. I might still have food in my teeth. What is so important that I would forego the normal primping? We all know speed kills, but we don't want to do anything about it because we all want to get places fast, really fast, dangerously fast. So as long as our family members aren't dying, we don't care about speeding traffic, not really. A lot of this content picks on professional engineers and planners. This one has politicians in the crosshairs. Do traffic engineers conduct speed studies? Yes, they do. Who makes the rules for speed studies? Politicians. Now granted, there are traffic engineering rules that are generally followed. Rules is a stretch. Guidances that they follow, but it's local politicians who decide what should be studied and if a speed limit should be changed and if a road should be designed at a lower speed. The engineers have the tools. They need politicians to allow them to use those tools. So there's speeding traffic in your neighborhood. You call the local Department of Transportation. You tell them, look, people are flying by on this street. It's dangerous. My kids can't cross the street. When politicians go to politicking school, they learn that the first response is to placate you by saying, well, it's complicated. We need a speed study. Next comes the actual speed study. This is where the engineers come into the crosshairs. The idea with a speed study is document the favorite speed of motorists. They're the ones speeding. The favorite speed is called the 85th percentile. The 85th percentile speed the preferred motorist speed is going to be higher than the speed limit. How do I know this? You know this. Why am I asking this question? The study will then recommend that the speed limit be increased to match the motorist's preferred speed because, hey, we don't want motorists to feel uncomfortable. So the speed limit gets raised, and that's where your local politicians come in. They're the ones leading this charge. They say, well, we couldn't do anything. There was a speed study. Turns out cars are speeding. You guys were right. We're going to increase the speed limit. Yeah, I was just thinking we should probably add five miles an hour on top of that new speed limit just to be safe. So there's a recommendation to make the speed limit even higher than it is today, plus another five miles an hour maybe on top of that just to be safe. And you're in a worse situation than you were before. Now that all the motorists are driving faster, someone's going to die and call in a complaint that cars are going too fast and you're going to get back to the beginning where the politician says it's complicated. We need a speed study. I'll probably primp better before the next one.